In this video I'll be explaining how to set up a millimetre laser system and field calibration for a survey practice, not machine control. Please note that the base setup was not illustrated in this video. To perform a field calibration with the millimetre laser setup, first of all you will need to have the PZL1 TOTCON laser transmitter set up on a tripod and levelled, and then the PZS1 attached to a Hyper-V or 2 or GR5 GPS receiver that is also set up on a tripod approximately 30 metres away from the laser. Both of these setups need to be approximately the same height otherwise you'll be prompted in the field calibration to move it up or down into the specified range. Once you have created a job with all control point information in the current job, we just need to set up our survey configuration. To do this from the main menu, we go into configure survey and then we want to edit the GPS configuration by hitting the three dots and then edit or add. So we set this up as a normal base and rover configuration. And you can refer to a previously made video for how to do this. When you get to the rover setup, you need to hit the peripherals tab and select the millimeter option. And you can also hit the parameters button to edit these settings if you would like. And you can edit the survey fixed option to be fixed plus millimetre as well. So any stored points have to have laser information as well as GPS. And you simply continue through the configuration. And once you are happy with the configuration, hit the green tick and you will go back to the main menu. Once you have finished doing your configuration, we simply go into connect and then into rover. Then we'll search for the GR5 GPS, which is connected to the PZS1 through a serial cable into the serial port of the PZS1 and the GR5. Once it is found it using Bluetooth, then simply select it and then hit connect. And then you'll notice it's connected by the GPS symbol at the top right hand corner. Once the configuration has been set up from the main screen we simply go into setup then millimeter GPS. On this first screen you can see I've already got a transmitter called PZL set up so we just need to edit this. Before performing a field calibration you need to download the current data from the laser. Ensure that the PZL1 laser is turned on and we'll go into edit and then get data. You will then search for the PZL laser via Bluetooth and once it has been found simply select it and then connect and this will run through the downloading of the current field calibration data. Once this has been complete simply hit the green tick and then you'll go back to the main millimeter GPS screen. From the main millimeter GPS screen, we simply hit the magnet button and then field calibration. It will then prompt you to set the transmitter into a field calibration mode. So simply walk down to the laser, turn it off because you have just got the data from it. And to put it into field calibration mode, simply hit the laser with plummet button, hold that down and then simply press a power button for a couple of seconds and then release both and you'll notice that the channel 1234 will light up and it will scroll through with a red light. This ensures you have put it into calibration mode. You can also go into the help menu. The help menu is very beneficial in explaining the field calibration procedure. We simply hit next and ensure you are disconnected from the transmitter and you are connected into the GPS rover and PZS1 that's approximately 30 meters away from the laser. This will open the daisy chain mode 
or the PZS. This may take a few few seconds. We can see here that it is telling me to adjust the height of the sensor. So I'm physically adjusting the tripod to move it up into the range acceptable. It's now telling me that it's okay. I've now re-leveled the tripod. And I've hit next. It will now tell you to face front Y1 of the transmitter towards this receiver, which is the handle side towards the receiver. There is a picture on every PZL1 explaining the Y1, Y2, X1 and X2, which direction they are in. If you have any issues, simply hit the magnet button and then help and this will explain further. Once you hit next, it will gather the data from that Y1 face. Once it has done this, it will tell you to reverse the transmitter 180. So we leave the controller connected to the rover, walk down to the laser, pivot the laser 180, wait for it to start spinning after about 10 seconds, walk back and then hit calibrate. Once it's gathered the data, again turn face X1 towards the receiver, wait 10 seconds till it starts spinning and then hit calibrate. And finally turn X2 towards the receiver, leaving the controller with the receiver, going down to the laser and rotating it and waiting for the laser to commence spinning before hitting calibrate. We notice a warning comes up here, excess movement. This was due to the laser receiver not being tightly screwed on to the tripod and adapter. So simply walk back down, screw it on properly, screw it on firmly, wait 10 seconds for the laser to spin and then come back and hit calibrate. Once you run through the four faces, it will then initialize the sensor and close the daisy chain mode for the PZS1. Once you have completed the laser field calibration, we need to download the data. But to do this, we have to take it out of calibration mode by simply powering down the PZL1 and then powering it back up as normal. And this will take it out of calibration mode and allow you to download the current calibration data. I still want to update the data even though there will be no change. Search via Bluetooth. Once it is found, the transmitter simply select it and then hit connect. And this will download the transmitter data again. There is no change. You will then go back to the millimetre GPS screen and now we need to establish the position of the laser. Simply hit the next tab across. On this transmitter position screen we establish the point that it's over from the drop down. We can either measure using the vertical base option or the slant mark option. The vertical base you will measure to the very bottom of the PZL1 or using the slant mark option 
you measure from the ground position up to the mark on the side of the PZL1. Once you've established the height and the position, then you hit the green tick and then you'll go to the next tab across to initialize the sensor. Once you hit initialize sensor, it will open the daisy chain mode. Ensure that the receiver is pointing towards the laser transmitter. And once it has got the latest firmware information and commands, simply hit the green tick. And now we have completed the millimeter GPS setup. Now we can continue with our survey and stake out. From the main screen, we simply go into survey topo, and we can see at the top left corner, we've got a fix and 100% radio for the GPS, and the laser is yellow. If this grays out, it means that the receiver isn't pointing towards the laser and getting information or there is an issue between the receiver and the laser. So we can see here that we can store a point and I'll just go and check that we can stake out that point by backing out to the main menu and going into stake out point, selecting the point I've just stored as 100 and then staking that out. And then I'm confident that the laser is reading correctly and the GPS is fixed and receiving the correct information. If the receiver is not receiving any laser information and it is greyed out, the height will just default back to the GPS heighting. And then once you have reconnected to the transmitter, then the laser height will take over. And this is where you get your millimeter accuracy. You need to ensure that the laser symbol is yellow to receive this millimeter accuracy.